Good morning and welcome back. I think my bolt's been feeling just a little lonely lately, but I've just picked up a new design file from that laser dude. It's a Christmas file and I want to run a couple of different variations or prototypes of that file, see how they turn out. So I'm going to grab a little true flat and a little bit of mirrored acrylic and we'll fire up the bolt today on Laser Nug. Thanks very much for sticking around today. If you're new to the channel, I'll provide you my settings for True Flat as well as for this mirrored acrylic as I go through the project. This is uh, kind of like a shadow box design. It's got several layers to it. And so I wanted to just test different colors. But if you are new to lasers, always important, don't throw out your scraps. Because when you're running test files or prototypes such as this, it's always good to have these scraps around so that you're not wasting a brand new sheet of material. So we're gonna be running the one and a half inch lens on the bolt today. We'll load the file, get things set up and start cutting. I mentioned before, I bought a number of files from that laser dude online. These are really great files. They're always well built and virtually never ever have any type of an issue as in open nodes or anything like that. So it works out really well. Let's see what size one of these globes is. It is about 3.4 by 3.4. So I've got lots of room on my scraps. This is going to be our first. It looks like we've got a cut file, which is black and an engraved file, which is blue. I'm not sure I want to engrave. I may want to cut these out. So let's put our settings to our colors here. I'm going to change the colors on this guy here because it's acrylic. So let's just ungroup it. I'm going to change this to a red. The rest of the pieces are going to be true flat so they can all save that color. This, because I'm using a mirrored acrylic, I'm going to reverse this image because I'm going to have to engrave on the back. So I'm going to come up here. I'm going to reverse that. And let's group everything together again into one file. And this is what it should look like, which it will. Excellent. And we need to assign some acrylic settings for the bolt here. So I'm going to come down. I'm on bolt. Laser is already connected and ready. I'm going to go to my material library and I'm going to change it from the Nova library to my bolt library. I want acrylic mirror and I'm going to need an engrave layer. So that's going to be my blue. Nope, sorry, forgot to change that layer, the color on that layer. I'm going to ungroup again. Let me grab the blue guys and let's make them green. There we go. Now we can put them back, group them together again. I've highlighted the green layer. I'm going to click my engrave and I'm going to assign that layer. I'm also going to assign my red layer, my cut layer. We're going to assign that, Let's assign it. There we go. And I'm also going to make sure I drop this layer down because I want it to engrave before it cuts. For these guys here, I've got a black cut layer and I'm going to be using blue for an engrave layer. But I actually want to cut these out. I don't want to engrave them. So I'm just going to make another change to the file. I do this quite a lot. Uh, we're going to ungroup this. And let's make these guys. Press shift, grab these guys. Keep shift down, grab these guys. And let's grab these guys. And let's make those a cut file as well, because I'd like to be able to see through those windows. There we go. So now they're all a cut file. Let's just group them all back together again. And it should look like that. Perfect. So that's the next layer. These ones here, I think I also want to cut them as well. Let me grab these again. I'm going to ungroup. And I'm going to grab all these guys. And we'll make those all black as well, so they're a cutout. And now we can put everything back together again. I'm going to group them and just check one more time. Yep, that's good. And then we'll leave this layer here as an engrave in blue. There's my engrave in blue there. I believe everything is already pre-grouped. It is. Sometimes it's not, so you just want to make sure you check. I've set my acrylic settings if you'd like them. This is my engrave settings for mirrored acrylic. 800 millimeters, 20 and 20 power. I'm gonna need no air on that. It's a fill mode at 600 lines per inch. 
my cut settings for mirrored acrylic 12 millimeters a second at 85 percent power min and max high air line mode one pass so now we need to assign our true flat cut and engrave so i'm going to come down my list to true flat i have an engraved layer here with the one and a half inch lens and i'm going to assign that to the blue layer so i'm going to highlight my blue layer click on that and I'm going to assign my settings and we need a black cut layer and I have two settings one masked one without I'm going to use my masked setting because I will be putting 3m on the back and I'm going to assign that to my black layer so highlight my black hit my mask setting and assign it there we go those settings if you'd like them the cut settings I use is 10 millimeter to second, 85% power, min and max, high air, line mode, one pass. And my engrave is 500 millimeters a second at 60 and 60 power, no air, fill mode, 400 lines per inch. And before I go any further, I'm going to highlight this fill layer and I'm going to bump it up because I need it to run before I cut the material. So all of my settings are in, I've checked them, I've done a display or a preview to make sure they all look proper, and I'm saving the file as I go along just in case something occurs. And we're going to cut our backer first, and then we'll start cutting our other pieces. Drop back to laser, I'm ready. I've got user origin in the top left, that's where I like it. It's on the bolt, I'm going to highlight my acrylic layer first, and we're going to send it to the bolt. I'm going to grab my mirrored acrylic, mirror face down, the back side up, and let's just place it in the bolt. I'm going to press autofocus. And let's just run this over to the corner so I don't waste too much. We'll set our origin there, and let's frame our job. And run our job. I find this true flat is really great for small ornaments or hangers, those types of things. You don't have to use any type of cleanser to clean it, but I find that the linen has a bit of a texture to it, so it's a lot easier if you just mask it and peel the mask, and then you throw your 3M or your dual tight on the back. That's why you'll see I have two settings. The one I gave you is the one that's masked, because it gives it a little extra power to get through your dual tight and your mask but I rarely ever mask any of the other colors. Even the white has a really nice gloss finish to it, so any type of debris from your laser comes right off. We're also gonna use the True Flat paint today. I have all five of my pieces cut out, cleaned them up with a little bit of water and a microfiber rag. And if you are working with acrylics, especially mirrored acrylics, try to see if you can pick up some of this Novus number no. one clean and shine. They have a number of different products, but this, you should be able to get this or something like it wherever you buy your acrylic. You use a microfiber cloth, tiny score to that, and it gets all the fingerprints and everything off and it leaves a nice clean finish. No lint, no issues. Last thing I'm going to do before I put it together is I thought I'd fancy it up a little bit, so I used some True Flat paint, and we'll throw some color into it. So while my paint's drying, I thought I could start putting some of these pieces together. One of the nice things about his files um, that I've purchased is they're very fungible, or you can move things around or change things. You may recall these were all in grays, but I changed them to cutouts as well as these ones. And it turned out really nice. I'm not sure if you'll see it in the camera, but the frames of the inside of the windows actually remained intact. 
And that's one of the benefits of using that 1.5 inch lens on the bolt is you get such precise detail that you can see when you put these pieces together, you can actually see through the windows and you can see the window frames. Really nice detail, I think. The other benefit to using the star bond is you get a little more time to play with it. If I did put the dual tight, you kind of get one chance to stick it. So until I make a jig for this, it might be a little bit better just to stick. So far so good. Let me go check on my paint job. All right, that's a wrap. Let's take a look. I'm thinking that's definitely a keeper. That looks beautiful. I love the depth of all five layers. I think the mirrored acrylic helps uh, give it a little bit more shine. Just kind of picture that you're, you've got it in a Christmas or a holiday setting with lots of lights in the house, maybe the tree. I think throwing a little paint and using the true flat paint here, just to give it a little more texture against the walnut and the linen, I think really makes a big difference. What's nice about the mirrored finish as well, if you look on an angle, you can actually see the reflection of the other different layers in front of it. It's pretty cool. Let's throw some light behind it for a sec. Yeah, I think that's gonna do it. So she's definitely a keeper. So I think the only change or the next test I wanna do on this design is I think we're gonna make it another inch and a half, maybe two inches bigger. I think it looks great the way it is, but I picture this is probably gonna end up on somebody's end table or coffee table. And so I think it needs to be a little bit bigger. Once I finalize it, I'll make a production file as always, and I'm going to make a jig so I don't have to kind of fight or try to make sure all my pieces line up. Thank you so much for sticking around again. It was really nice to fire up that bolt for something other than a tumbler or some drinkware. Plus, as I said, that one and a half inch lens. If you've got a model that came with a two and a half, you may want to consider getting the optional one and a half as well. The finite, tiny detail you can get with that lens is incredible. Like the window cutouts in that little wee shadow box. Have a wonderful week, and please be kind to each other. I'm Gord Potter, and you've been watching LaserNug. Cheers.